We just learned about an organization that is taking a holistic approach to helping veterans and their families get on the road to success and stability. Well, let's welcome Lauren Smokowitz and Courtney Williams, Board of Directors, President and Vice President, respectively, for Low Country Veterans, assisting our military men and women get off the streets and into homes. It's good to have you both with us, and welcome back. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. And you both have served in the military. Thank you both for serving our country. And which branch of the military did you serve in, Lauren? I was in the United States Marine Corps. And when did you join? I joined in 2008 and I got out in 2013. Okay, and how about for you, Courtney? So I was in the United States Navy, served from 1996 to 2022. Yeah, we were just talking about remembering where we were on September 11th, of course, that is today. And we're, we're now looking back 23 years. Um, did it reignite something within you when 2001 came along to further pursue the protection of our country, pr pursue the uniform, as it were? Of course. I mean, I was actually serving in Washington, D.C. at the time, so it, it had a direct impact on, on myself and my colleagues and continues to do so even to this day. Yeah, and you joined a few years after that occurrence and um, that horrible tragedy. and. I would imagine that after leaving the military and coming back into civilian life, have you come across some, some comrades of yours that have fallen into homelessness or know someone who has suffered homelessness as a result? I do not, I have not personally had any comrades that I knew that have fallen homeless. Um, I am close with some of the vets that come through the house. Yeah, and tell me about their stories. So it all depends. Some of them, it's really just situational. They just don't have that support network that some of us do have, and they just end up needing some sort of assistance, and that's where we come in. Yeah, and where, why is that, though? What, what is some of the support that they're lacking that has forced them into living on the streets? Sometimes they don't even know about the benefits they qualify for, oh. and so that's one of the things that we try to do is they come to us through the VA. We partner with the VA to have the the people come into the house. And once they're in the house, it's about a 90 day process to get them ready to move back out. And we get make sure they get their VA benefits. We help mm -hmm. them with job training. We help them maybe find a job if they need that help. So mm -hmm. we can get them that assistance that they really need to, to be back on their feet. Did you know anyone personally coming out of the service that was not able to sort of tr make that ease transition, easy transition? Into Not personally, as far as actually going homeless, but I certainly know a lot of people that have struggled with the transition from military to civilian life. Yeah, and why is it? What, what is the struggle? Where does that stem from? I think some of it is, is camaraderie, and if you're in the military, you have a very structured existence mm -hmm. that is imposed on you in many ways, and once you're released from that, if you don't have some help you can sometimes lose your direction and you don't have anybody to fall back on because yeah. those networks aren't there anymore. Right. Tell us more about Low Country Veterans and what the organization sets out to do. Yes, so we are a transitional housing facility. We have our house is located on James Island. Uh, we can house about 15 vets at a time. We currently have around, there's seven in the house right now. Um, so, we've, so far we have had 60 graduate our program oh, wonderful. in this past year. Yeah, and when you say program, so they go through clinics and classes and things like that? Yes, it's a whole program that they're put through, so we just help them get access to their benefits. We help them find more permanent housing. Mm -hmm. And what else? I know that finances are often a, a very sticky point for veterans not able to get on a good solid financial foot. Right, so that's that's part of what the program is, is helping them understand budgeting. They're required to save a certain amount of money while they're in the house so that they have a, a fund set up for when they, when they graduate the program. Right, right, and what other programs? Is there counseling? Is there any level of therapy? We have, we have a social worker that works directly for the house uh, who helps in all of those aspects. We also connect them with the VA clinic in downtown right. so that they can get help through them as well. Okay. Yes. We also offer peer support 
and the peer support. We internally hire them from our past veterans that were in the house. Oh, wonderful. So they act as mentors. Yes. So they were once mentees, now right. they're mentors. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. That's wonderful. Well, you do have an event that's coming up, and this is happening Saturday, October 5th, Low Country Veterans Gala. You might hear these pipes sing the national anthem. You may also recognize them because Mr. Courtney here, he came onto the stage and he performed as the Grinch. The so Grinch. we're hoping that this Christmas he will do so again. Can you give us just a little bit? You're a mean one. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> thank, you. thank you so much. And thank you so much for coming on such a special and poignant day. Appreciate thank that. You. Thank you. Thanks for having us. We're back after this.